Right, I'm inside. Managed a nice lady. Let me come in very quickly. A couple of minutes, she said, and she's got to lock up. Um, oh, there's Sydney John Hale there, look, of this parish. Private 2nd Battalion Grenadier Guards who died. Oh, he died in 19... Oh, 1900, South African War. He died then. Yeah, 18, no, you're right. He was 28 when he died. Well, that's a lovely picture, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Lovely little oil painting. Big, no yeah, well, very pleasant, very nice. This is a lovely church, isn't it? Little piscina there. Little tiny piscina. Yeah, I've gone back over a thousand years with my, my family. Yes, mainly in Suffolk and uh, Cambridgeshire, though, for myself. But oh, this it's lovely, and you can tell it's cared for. Yes. But of course, sometimes they look neglected, but they're not. It's just money. It comes down to money sometimes. It's it does, but it also comes down to well, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell it is. It's been well maintained. It's lovely. It's got a lot of features as well, hasn't it? See, some of the churches I visit for my ancestors, they were destroyed by Cromwell real bad in Suffolk. Hello? It's only me. Yeah, I'm just doing a, a tiny little video. Because I know the lady's busy. Some lovely flowers, aren't they? Is there going to be a wedding, is there? Right, uh, well, thank you very much for letting me come in. It's, it's a very beautiful church. Right, over and out then. I've been inside the church. I'm going to have a wander round now. Right, I've left the church. <coughs> of Holy Trinity. This could be part... I think this might be part four actually. I've left it for uh, part four of the visit to Denme the Denmead Kingston Seymour place. Cherry tree farm there, that was probably old once. I've bumped into a couple of church warden ladies who told me about Bob Ford, the local historian, who knows a lot about the long way back the history of the village and everything. So that's handy to know if the Somebody did want to have anything dug up. I found more Wallaces as well. No more Wallaces. Place called Hope Farm. I'm making a note of all the farm names because of the hassles that lived here and, and the dead meats. There's an old farm up there as well. Of course, when I came here before, I think I went down, I might have gone down Yew Tree Lane. I'm going to carry on because this woman's told me this church warden lady or flower lady said that um, Kingston Seymour and surrounding little houses and farms is in the figure of an eight in relation to the pathways 
so she said there's middle lane back lane she said you go up you can either come down back through middle lane or you can go round in a big loop she said it might get a bit windy as you get nearer the sea but going back to the graveyard i found more wallaces when i look closely more graves as opposed to um cremstones i found a, a wallace girl jane i think one of her names was she married um a polish man and then there was another one in front uh, these were more elaborate modern gravestones made of marble with nice sketches on them so i've taken photos of course i haven't put that bit on the video uh, i also found a wallace that had married a griffin or a griffin who'd married a wallace um, so that's how families get linked up see because there's a big griffin family and a big wallace family and probably at one point there was a big Demme family Yeah, there's a there's a farm there. Kingston House, that's called look. So that's probably it was called Kingston Farm once. <sighs> Things that though I'm doing family tree for the Coleys, hold on, what's this? Something house farm. That looks really old, doesn't it? game of the sea but I couldn't read it, it was very faded. Yeah, that was pretty old. I'm actually doing this as part of my beautiful Somerset. It gives me an excuse to come out and study an area as opposed to literally just driving past it and ignoring it. And let them go by. Right, so this time I'm coming up along up this country lane that I don't think I, I might have, I probably did walk this far. Look at the sludge on that. The pond weed like in that drain. There's the cows there. But you get a lot of bungalows built in these places as well. The orchard. Yeah, I've got a feeling I will did walk past here. Like I said, I might have got the weather right today because it's supposed to be really horrible tomorrow. More side farm, because like I said, one of these farms would have been all to the Denmeads and also the Hassels or Hazels, what I call the, it was our retins, the Hassels or Hazels from round here originated in Sudbury and Suffolk which in turn originated to our lot in Bottisham, Cambridgeshire, as a branch. Quite busy, there's a lot of cars, because it's off term, so you've got a lot of people. Yo, yo, yo Bank Lane. That is um, a dead end, but it could be that you could get back. There was one lane I went down. It looks like that one. Where it is, because you've got the river sea, so you... Unless you take a risk and go via the sluice gates, so I don't think you're allowed, really. Yeah, I don't think I went down this bit. North Somerset drainage water. Rose Cottage. Hi, dog. Hi, yeah. Oh, there's some cows. It's very windy now. I just hope I didn't get soaked because some. Um... Oh, moomers. Moomers. Oh, there's a load of moomers up front. Oh, this is when you know you're out in the countryside, isn't it? You know you're out in the countryside when you come across a herd of cows being led either for milking or um, into one foot or another. So we've got a bit of a hold up now. Look, and there's a farm there. And you know you're out in the countryside when you see this sort of thing. I don't know how far we got to go following these black herd of cows. Right, there's Paul Farm on this side of the road. Toilet seats for 
Flower pots, that's good, isn't it? And there's another farm this side. Something farm. Something house. You, you, you house farm. Don't know far. We'll just stop here a minute. Pool Farm, Kingston Seymour Pumping Station. Right, all across the fields there you've got cows. And this is all the flatlands. Flatlands. Obviously over there, you, you put, probably over there somewhere is um, Robbery Woods and that and Western. But we're following these cows for a minute. I don't know how far we got to go. There's a nice apple tree there with someone with a ladder up there. It does look a bit forlorn. Some of these farms do now. See, they don't get the support, I don't think. They, it's really going back to the old days, isn't it? Where people did used to farm, keep their own pigs and that, and feed off them and their chickens and their cows for milk for themselves. You had your plot of land. You just fed yourself. You didn't worry about feeding other people. Right, we'll go a bit further. Then what I might have to do is turn off this tape because I don't want to waste battery just taking pictures of a few cows up a country lane. All I'm like, there's no point in me trying to overtake or anything like that. I might spook them and, and they, could, they could be going five miles for all I know. But, so this is country life in Somerset, look, following a herd of cows. Good, isn't it? Lots of healthy looking ducks. The smell of dung is also absolutely fantastic. The smell of dung here. There's some ducks, look. There we go. Look, there's some ducks there. Hello, duckies. There's the cows up there. Oh, so I'm not going to hurt you, duckies. Of course, there's loads more. Some geese up here. Or is it? Yeah, there could be wild geese because you do get geese coming from cold countries. They come here when the cold countries like Siberia have their winters. I mean, our sort of winters are nothing like they have in Siberia. Although they do look very healthy ducks. Right, what's this place called? Green Acre. There's a little sheep on there. Loads more. I've got those lovely apples. Proper Somerset apples, they are. Of course, um, as I said, we used to call it snobbing as opposed to scrumping when I was a child. We always called it going snobbing. We never called it scrumping. It's one of those old rare words, I think, now, because most people talk of scrumping. It's a scrumpy, see? Right then, over and out, folks. That's enough of me doing a video of cows going up a up a, a lane. I think. It's another house. I just a ham farm. Yeah, because I am trying to locate whereabouts the Hassles lived as I'm going along. Well, I can't remember. I've got it written down, of course. Um. Oh, there's some donkeys there as well. Look. Hello, donkeys. donkey I think. That's definitely a donkey isn't it? And that's a ham farm. Yeah. I don't know how far they're going. Oh if only you could capture the smells. There's smells of cider apples. You can smell the apples. Mixed with manure. Here. I'm just getting off my bike for a minute so you can see all the packs of dung. Beautiful, healthy smells. 
remember she said go on round. Now that's not middle lane, is it? Probably that's a dead end up there. Hello. How are you doing? Well, I don't know where I'm going. It's all right, it's all right, stop panicking. So come to say hello, that's all. Yeah, and you lovely. Right, I'm turning off for a minute because there's a road there, it says Mapstone Lane, which she said about going round in a big circle. Of course, there are a lot of lanes, but I should have stopped to ask. That could be a dead end if I go down there, see? Go round in a big circle, otherwise, you end up going down the middle. a minute.